Hello William, Daisy and Stanley. It's Pepe here. I'm so excited that you're going on an adventure in England with your family. You'll be exploring the great outdoors in Cumbria where there's lots of lovely lakes, fun museums and animals to see. Just remember, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. I can't wait to hear about all the fun you have. Love, Peppa. Let's go. The first stop is Reged in Penrith. Now, the Reged Centre is where art meets good food, family and fun under a beautiful green grass roof. Play is a part of the fabric of Reged from the outdoor play area to a cinema made for 3D movies. just settled in at Hillcroft Park which is where our lodge is it's lovely my children are winding down after a really busy day the boys are in a Peppa Pig tent over there because obviously this is Peppa Pig themed what we're dealing with like visit England it's fantastic it's on their website so if you have a nosy and you want to see a little bit more about what's on your doorstep and go visit somewhere and have a nosy and get to grits more with your local culture or somewhere a little bit different to you then it's so worth doing we love the lake district we've been quite a few times as a couple but it's nice to come with the kids and come and explore a different area of the lake district and we've had such a good day but we are all knackered and i'm sure you can tell we have done so much we've been striking like loads of different animals like snakes and salamanders and all of that kind of thing we've done painting we've been to the cinema we've had lunch we played outside there was snow there was rain there was wind there was hail and there was a little bit of sunshine but it's just been like absolutely jam-packed so we are doing the kids now some sweet and sour chicken with egg fried rice and some prawn crackers because that's what they picked for tea and we're gonna have a pizza a bit later because i had the most amazing pork apple and black pudding burger earlier and it was insanely good um that was at reged by the way um their 
restaurant, like their cafe area is amazing. The food is incredible. Um, the portions were so big and I'm still so full. So we're just gonna chill for the night. Um, we were gonna go to a local pub called the Crown Pub, but we are just exhausted. So we changed our mind because I think that you know your kids limit sometimes, don't you? And these three are soon gonna run out of energy, I think. We've already had a couple of naps out of stand today. Um, but it's just been amazing. It's been really, really nice. And one thing that Mark and I have discussed quite a lot um, since we went from two to three children is that sometimes going for like little trips or like mini breaks around like where we live locally that not too far where we can take the car and take everything that we need with us is a lot easier than say going somewhere where we need to take a plane or, or something like that so it's um it's been nice and we're having a really good day but i'm just going to sit down and relax for a little bit and i'll see you in a bit Hi. Hi. i'm china very interesting says mr rabbit takes everyone to the dinosaur room you found the thigh bone i got you says george you got me we are too, too lucky. Emily, your name's best <laughs> Since the day you were born, you have always known when I need you the most. Oh, ho, oh, ho. His fingers and my own good fortune You know you are My double flame whisper My soulmate sister so good morning, it is Friday today and we are up early and we are actually off to the Lake District Wildlife Park in Bassenthwaite which is in Keswick and we're going to get into the car shortly and get going because it's about 45 minutes from where we are at the moment at Hillcroft Park which is like um, sort of like a site where, really where you can like glamp if you want or camp there's lodges and that kind of thing, we're in a lodge and I thought I would just give you a really really quick tour because I really like seeing things like this um, and it's nice to know like when you come in somewhere with kids as well whether or not it's family friendly and that kind of thing which this is brilliant by the way so I'm currently stood in my and Mark's bedroom and I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll give you a very quick tour and then we will get on with the rest of our day so this is our room as you come into it and as you can see it's a really decent size sorry it's not like perfect but obviously we've like slept in it because we got here fairly late last night and I wanted to do this tour in daylight so you can see it a little bit better but you've got a ample sized bed Um, I think it's a double although it could be a king because I didn't find Mark too annoying in the middle of the night because I do like my space Um, but then through here this is really cool I've never had one of these before it's like a walk-in wardrobe so it comes with um like robes and stuff plenty of hangers and there's like more storage down there and shelves over here as well and then through here we have if I open it up for you a little ensuite which is really nice so there's a toilet a walk-in shower and a sink so that has been really handy just because there is five of us and sometimes it's a bit nicer to have an extra toilet at least so that is this room and then if we come through prepare yourself for some noise now because they're all playing out here this is the view so that is the living area down there and then this first room that you come to is bill and daisy's rooms now they've had a go at making their beds so please don't judge me for that um but it's perfect size there's like storage here for this one as well and then from their room you come across and this is where stan has been sleeping so obviously there's two single beds here if you would like to use it that way but we also have a little um travel cart which is what we're doing um with him just because then we can sort of like know that he's safe and not going to wander around anywhere and there's loads of storage in here as well and then through here there's everyone playing we have another bathroom, this time it's got a bath which is really handy with kids because I don't mind sticking them in the shower but Stan in particular doesn't like the shower so this is a lot better. And then through here is is the living area which is amazing and um, what i really liked is that it was a little tray for like dirty shoes and stuff so it keeps everything nice and then we've got two sofas and then a little like snuggle chair over there there's a footstool hi daisy <laughs> and like this telly and there's a fire that works which is really nice and then there is like an eating area and the doors here open up onto the decking 
<laughs> He's saying hi. hi. And then there is a kitchen, which is bigger than our kitchen at the moment, to be honest. Um, it's lovely. It's got all of the amenities. So you've got a fridge and a freezer here. So this is the freezer. And this is the fridge. So we just stocked up with a few little bits and bobs in there. Um, there's a microwave. There's more storage. There's glasses in here. And there's a fully working oven and a grill, which I've used both of already. And then there's more storage. There's like mugs for your coffee and that kind of thing and your tea. Came with coffee and tea and sugar, but we actually bought our own as well. We got that from the shop at Reged yesterday. Um, English Breakfast Brew Tea Company for Mark, because he loves his tea. And then there's a dishwasher, which is amazing, because you don't want to be doing dishes while you're away, or at least I don't anyway. It comes with bits and bobs for like cleaning and and that kind of thing and then this was really cool it's um a washer and a dryer i think so it's really handy if you're here long term because i hate packing too much stuff um and i might even use this actually if we get too mucky and we run out of clothes so that was a nice surprise and then there's just more storage like everything you need for cooking and stuff pans that kind of thing and then the drawers have got plenty of stuff in so you've got like normal cutlery and other bits and bobs in here and then just extra storage if you need it for food so it's worked out really well for us so i'm going to get this gang in the car and then we're going to go out and enjoy the rest of our day and i believe it involves animals so it's going to be a good one but it is brilliant. The kids have cuddled a guinea pig. I think Stan's life was made, to be honest. And now we are just feeding some of the animals. So we're currently with some goats and alpacas. And we fed sheep and we fed some other types of goats as well. But they're so cute. And even though the weather's miserable, it doesn't really matter because it's just lovely. Just want to say hello to YouTube. Oh, they're so cute. particularly drizzly outside we come here to play um, and there's like a few little ride on machines you put money in and like a grabber that kind of thing and then in about 15 minutes there is an owl um, talk so yeah it's been a really good day out so far <laughs> So 
it is now 20 to 1 and we are leaving the wildlife park we've spent we've been here for a good few hours and um, we've had lunch and we ended our day on a little reptile session so there were two different types of snakes and a what was it a bearded dragon bill yeah bearded dragon bearded dragon but we had a really good day and um, we actually managed to win three animals on the claw machine um, so we only spent £2.50 instead of having to buy bits in the shop which was rare um, but now we are going to Keswick Museum um, obviously we've never been before and um, we're going to have a little tour there before we head back for a little bit and then head out for dinner later um, hopefully fingers crossed Stan is going to have a nap because he's absolutely shattered and um, yeah it's been a really good day so I'll see you in a bit <laughs> What's in there? Oh wow, a 700 year old cat. Looking up what you think about that? Remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said an open roll. My cat, it's done with I've already found some light. The feeling grew. Once upon a time, there was a mummy bear, a daddy bear, and, then it and a baby bear. So, we are back at Hillcroft Park now. The rest of the fam are back at our lodge. Um, but I just nipped to the on-site shop to get some jam just at four the morning because we've got some bread left we've got some local bread from record yesterday um but we're actually going out for brunch tomorrow but i know the kids will need something before that especially when you pretty much go up at six <laughs> sorry i had to just uh, stop for a second and work out which way i was going but i think i found my way now um and also apologies if it's really windy and you can't hear too much because the weather has been crazy today but we went to the Lake District Wildlife Park earlier on this morning that's the first thing that we did today oh look there's a digger the digger coming by and looking at me like I'm absolutely mental can you see <laughs> and then um, after we did that we had lunch there and obviously played with loads of different animals then we went to Keswick Museum. Um, now I know Keswick anyway through Mark's mum Pat because I know that she likes to go there with friends of hers whereas when we've been to Lake District previously we tend to go to Windermere and Bonus so it's been really nice to come to a different area but I was speaking to Dave who is in charge of education at Keswick Museum and he was just so passionate and you know when you're listening to people about what they do and what matters to them and obviously like local museums and things like that they're run very much by the public they don't have huge budgets and they've re like redone everything to make it even more family friendly so there's loads of activities for the kids we had such a good time and i came away just feeling really like it was a really nice opportunity to be able to go hey anyone watching this if you ever come to Keswick or nearby and you're thinking of doing a family trip go and seek out Dave at Keswick Museum or go and visit the Lake District Wildlife Park because there are just so many different things to do and um, it's been really nice to sort of give these local businesses and organisations a boost. We are back 
a tar lunch now. Can't wait to get inside because I'm freezing. It's raining as well, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but we're going to chill out for an hour and then we are going out for dinner, which I'm very excited about because I don't have to cook. <laughs> <laughs> We've been for brunch at a local place that everybody seems to recommend called Granny Dalbikins and it's like, you know food that just feels like a cuddle, it's that kind of place. So we had a, we had Granny's breakfast but they do um, loads of different cakes, they do like homemade soups, like all of the stuff that you want especially when the weather is really freezing which it is today, it's trying to snow. Uh, but fingers crossed it's not too bad because we're now going to Lowther Castle which is about 15 minutes away and when I was talking to Steve, the man that has worked at the place where our lodge was for 22 years, he said it's peaceful there so I'm looking forward to seeing that. We also picked up some ginger bridge which is, I don't know if it's a local thing or if it's just a Granny Dalbikins thing but obviously where we were staying is in Pulley Bridge, excuse my snotty nose by the way because I'm so bugged up this morning um, but they're in the shape of bridges, I'll show you later so we picked up six of them in the little pack that we can take home with us to have with like a brew or something later on because we should get back like mid afternoon and then I have to deal with all of our washing but for now we're gonna head to a castle <laughs> Now and we are on the pancake papers quest. So 
every different holiday they will put on something for kids where they can go around the gardens and the grounds and work out a puzzle and at the end if we get all of the letters that we're searching for then the kids get a free pancake and syrup because it's all themed for pancake day which is really cute so we've already found our first letter and what we're looking for are newspaper cuttings um, because what has happened in the castle is that there is a missing 13,000 tins of maple syrup and there's a mystery and we have to find out where they've gone so the newspapers have picked it up and we have to work it all out so it's quite fun Look at this room Stay in this moment Gonna lay here on 